Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Medcology Tutorials. Today I will be discussing the pharmacology of the drug allopurinol, uh, which is uh, used in the management of a condition called as gut. So let's start with the mechanism of action. So gout basically happens because of excess uric acid uh, crystals being deposited in the joints. So the production of uric acid can be reduced by inhibiting the enzyme that is responsible for uh, the formation of uric acid, which is xanthine oxidase. This enzyme converts hypoxanthine to xanthine and then xanthine gets converted to uric acid. Allopurinol is converted to oxypurinol by xanthine oxidase and allozanthine is an irreversible suicide inhibitor of this enzyme. That means it blocks the enzyme irreversibly. There is a new drug in the market which is uh, febuxostat which is a non-purine inhibitor of xanthine oxidase and it is more selective than allopurinol and uh, it helps inhibit the enzyme involved in purine and pyrimidine metabolism. So when we look at the mechanism of action, um, allopurinol or if you look at febuxostat, both of them, they block this particular or inhibit this particular enzyme called as xanthine oxidase. So when the xanthine oxidase enzyme is inhibited, you don't have the conversion of hypoxanthine to xanthine and then the xanthine to uric acid. So if this is your um, bone joint, say in your toe, because you don't have this uric acid being formed, you don't have uh, these crystals getting sedimented. So when you have excess uric acid being formed, because of this uh, crystal sedimentation, if this is your toe, what happens is these crystals, they kind of sediment in the joint and it leads to inflammation, uh, swelling and pain. So all of this is the root cause because of this excess uric acid formation. So if you block this enzyme xanthine oxidase, which this um, allopurinol and the newer drug uh, febuxostat does, what happens is that you prevent the uh, formation of uric acid and therefore decrease all the uh, symptoms associated with this excess uric acid deposition. Now, what are the effects? So, when you come to uh, the effects, inhibition of xanthine oxidase will increase the concentration of more soluble hypoxanthine and xanthine. So, you need to remember that xanthine and hypoxanthine, they are more soluble. That means they can easily come out through urine and they will decrease the uh, and this particular enzyme if you block this particular enzyme xanthine oxidase you will decrease the concentration of less soluble uric acid so uric acid is less soluble so when you have decreased uric acid formation there is less likelihood of precipitation of uric acid crystals in joints and tissues therefore you are ultimately solving the problem so in pharmacology it is very simple you have a generally you will have an enzyme or you will have a, a pathway which goes wrong so either there is an increase in the enzyme or there is a decrease in the enzyme something goes wrong and all your drugs what they do is basically they will act um, they will act on these enzymes or pathways so you can either inhibit them or you can activate them. So based on in inhibition activation, you will be controlling whatever is going on. So there's nothing to worry or get stressed about when you're reading pharmacology. Just look at what is the uh, root cause or the pathophysiology, what is going wrong and how we can correct it. Here, our problem or the root cause is uric acid. Clinical trials suggest that febuxostat is more effective than allopurinol in lowering serum uric acid levels. So when this will be your drug of choice when you are writing a prescription. Coming to pharmacokinetics, 
uh, xanthine oxidases are uh, xanthine oxidase inhibitors are given orally so this is very important so you uh, usually give them orally and these drugs usually are withheld for one to two weeks after an acute episode of gouty arthritis and are administered in combination with colchicine. This is a GPAC question. Usually they ask uh, um, uh, with what drug do you administer allopurinol? So it is either colchicine or an anesite. And the reason you do that is to avoid an acute attack. Allopurinol is also used as an adjunct to cancer chemotherapy because in cancer, uh, also, you have increased uric acid formation which can take place, which is a result of uh, uh, purines which are released due to death of large number of neoplastic cells. Therefore, you can also uh, prescribe allopurinol or preferably uh, febuxostat uh, if there is uh, gouty arthritis or such complications in cancer patients. Coming to toxicity and drug interactions, allopurinol causes gastrointestinal upset and rash. So this is something the pharmacist should take care and healthcare provider should take care and observe. Please uh, note that patients should be informed about side effects so that they can report it. Uh, rarely you can see side effects like peripheral neuritis, that is your nerves to the peripheral regions like legs etc they become uh, affected they can cause pain and tingling sensation so you can have peripheral neuritis uh, vasculitis can also be formed so you can see this patchy red dots on the legs so this could be an uh, indication of vasculitis or bone marrow dysfunction so if you have bone marrow dysfunction you can have anemia aplastic anemia being formed so that is a rare side effect and when you inhibit, um, so when you inhibit uh, this uh, xanthine oxidase, it, 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 it has an effect on certain uh, drugs like mercaptopurine and uh, uh, azathioprine. So these drugs basically depend on xanthine oxidase for elimination. So if you don't have the xanthine oxidases, then there can be accumulation of these drugs and cause an increase in these drugs concentration. So you need to take care when you are dispensing uh, allopurinol or febuxostat with these two drugs because they can affect these two drugs elimination. Febuxostat can cause liver function abnormalities, headache and gastrointestinal upset. All of these should be informed to the patient so they can report when they notice these side effects. In conclusion, I would like to uh, tell that uh, allopurinol or febuxostat, they are basically acting upon your uh, xanthine uh, oxidase enzyme, uh, which ultimately is responsible for the formation of uh, uric acid. So if you have less uric acid, you will have less of the gouty uh, um, disease manifestations. I hope this video has been useful and helpful. Please do like, share and subscribe to Metcology Tutorials.